Well, hello, here we are, Q&A number 105. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started, and Judy Maniero. Okay, go ahead. That looks Italian to me. Okay. Uh, leave another uh, comment and tell me if it's Italian. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Read it. Uh, how did your mom and dad meet? How tall was your dad? Does your brother who owns the laundromat look like your dad? Most of all of the brothers. Okay, so I'll tell how my mom and dad met, meet, met and then you tell how your mom and dad met. Okay. Um, my mom and dad uh, my, met through my dad's brother, Herman. Herman had two dates and he couldn't take both of them. And he said, Fred, will you take... Uh, Ruby because I can't take two girls <laughs> so that's that how mom and dad met okay. and uh, my dad I don't know how tall is he about five nine that is tallest because people kind of shrink when they get older <laughs> <laughs> and yes the one that owns a laundromat looks he could be my dad's twin mm, they, they they just look really alike. look well, I wouldn't alike. say twin but they look alike okay <laughs> and how'd your mom and dad meet they met at dances that farmers would go to. Up in Canada? Yeah, up in uh -huh. Canada. And they would just, they'd have to drive by horse and buggy for quite a long ways. And eventually they, uh, and so they couldn't go home the same night. So they'd usually, I guess, just sleep, bring some blankets with them and so sleep, he, sleep on the floor. He asked her to dance or something. Yep. And oh, yeah. Yeah, they would just do all-nighter dances out there in Canada. The farmers needed those dances to, so they could get unstressed and stuff. Yeah. Okay, then how did your... So they got divorced, and then how did you meet your mom meet your uh, stepdad? Uh, it was an arranged marriage through genealogy. She came to a reunion, and they were distant cousins, of about fourth or fifth cousins, and... So your grandma invited Jean or Maureen to oh, the no, reunion? They, or oh, let's see. No, she organized a reunion here in your Salt Lake. Your grandma did. And uh -huh. Jean turned up for it, and they got to oh, the the know There's no inviting. Them. Yeah, I was just wondering if they did or not. Okay, well, that, that's cool. Okay, um, so that's how they met. Proud Auntie of Three. Proud Auntie X three. X three. Okay, times three. Yeah, she says she's she doesn't have any children of her own, and she had she has three. Where does it say that? Well, uh, she explained it in one of the comments okay. of why why she's called that, and so she is really proud okay. of Auntie of three. Okay, what are oh, your what's okay. our favorite sweet treats? Ooh. Oh, it's a toss up between. I don't know if we have enough time. Plain old chocolate. <laughs> And anything, made of, anything mm -hmm. made of chocolate. And I like chocolate with nuts in it. It's just um, really, yeah, anything with chocolate. chocolate. And my favorite chocolate are the truffles that kind of melt in your mouth. Yeah, those are those, my favorite. Too. Those are our favorites. Okay. Yeah. And there's a question, and this is still Proud, proud Auntie. Um, were you always a stay at home mom or did you work outside of the home? And then she has a question for Papa O. How long? Do you think you'll continue to work, teach and work, and what ages do you teach? So why don't you, you want me to do mine well, first? Okay. First. Okay. Um, I've I've always been a stay-at-home mom. When we first when we uh, first got uh, had a little baby, little Johnny, I thought I was supposed to go to work for some reason. That's what the women women were all doing. So I did go work for a month at a sewing place. But then it went bankrupt, and I said, I don't like leaving. I would be gone for a couple of hours. Papa O would watch Johnny, and then he'd take him over to his mom's for about an hour till I got there. But I've always been a stay-at-home mom and a stay-at-home grandma. And l luckily enough, I made enough money so she could do that. Yeah, and I, There are many couples that one income is not enough. So yeah. I'm just saying I was blessed. To have yeah. a job where I and could. we and I did little jobs at home too to kind of help help with the money, so kind of the play money. Joe would, Papa O would do the. No, you you did you worked for your sister. Yeah. And uh, you did pick up mm -hmm. sewing and then bring yeah, it home stay and at do home. It. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I tied flies for oh I don't know ten years and I sewed for my sister for twenty years. I sewed collars on shirts. 
But she did it at home. For, yeah, at home for a couple of years. What else did I do? I think that was it. Oh, and I did preschool for about 18 years. Okay. So uh, that supplemented a little bit of extra money. All right, Papa. Oh, your question. Okay. Uh, my question was, uh, how long do you think you'll continue to teach and work? Am I 78 or 79? I know I'm 78. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, I did retire in the middle 60s, and then I just kept working because I did, we did, our house at that time was not paid off, and I just had to keep working. So when I, so I'll probably right now, I'm only doing maybe let's see how many, two, maybe maybe eight full days in a month. That's not very much. Mm -hmm. And I pick the classes I want. And uh, I can choose any type of class I want. Well, I can't choose it. It has to be available, but the, the ones that are available. My favorite class are PE classes. And then I do enjoy doing science and math classes because the kids are more focused and easier to handle. Mm -hmm. And I do enjoy doing uh, special needs children from severely handicapped to um, moderately handicapped. And you do a big variety of classes. Question for either of us. Uh, oh, I actually said, what ages do you teach? Yeah. It's freshman through senior. But my favorites are junior and senior because they're, they're just more focused and easier mm -hmm. to uh, be a substitute. Ninth graders kind of want to goof off. And they're just they're not uh, serious yet. They're just... Ninth graders are one year away from the, as one substitute teacher said that quit, he said, they are evil. Whoa. The uh, ninth graders? Yes. Oh, yes. Dear. No, they are. How do you feel about them? Uh, they're some that are evil. <laughs> no, there's actually, in our, where we live, there are more gangs than anywhere else anywhere there's a lot of gangs mm -hmm. and they don't hang out in street corners and everything but uh and the kids get <clears throat> the kids get associated with those gangs uh as early as junior high mm -hmm. and uh he just but they have good measures for handling stuff yeah. like that and he taught elementary uh, and he didn't like it it wears him out he likes the, well, the elementary is a uh, picture babysitting 40, 40 kids all about the same age and uh, for all day. Mm -hmm. It wears you out. And how long do you think you'll teach? Uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, just, have a, I yeah. don't have any goal or not, yeah, not a goal. Yeah, just keep teaching. Right now, no it, reason to right stop. now it, it means that I can support whatever Roseanne wants to <laughs> buy and everything or help her buy stuff. Yes, yeah, so we can have some play money. <laughs> yeah, that word, that's a better <laughs> yeah, play word. Play money. And uh, the end of her question here is, have you lived in your same home as a family with the kids growing up? Yes, we moved here when Johnny was nine months old, our oldest. And then we've been here ever since. Well, let's say our dream home, our temporary home till we can find our dream home turned into our dream home and now yeah, now we, we wouldn't we were going to stay a year took a lot of years before we got air conditioning because we live in mm -hmm. the desert and and it snows a lot and we had a broken furnace so we i put in a pot belly stove that burns coal and wood and we used mm -hmm. that for a lot of 30 years. 40 years yeah and we had a fan that blew it when we added a second floor yeah we uh, it blew it upstairs. we added on 32 years ago uh, but we, this room that we're in right now, we had four kids sleeping in here. We didn't, uh, we didn't have the door then, but we had two bunk beds in here, and we then the had. other. Sound had. like you said we have had. Okay. And um, <clears throat> and then we had the other two kids in our, uh, in the next room, that which was our bedroom. And then when we added on, we got to have a lot more space, and we just kind of keep fixing the house uh different we got a porch and so that's what uh is slowly turning into our dream home but we were only going to stay a year and we bought this home for twenty five thousand, and it's worth <clears throat> two hundred thousand now at least yeah so for tax <clears throat> for tax the, purposes. the people that used to own the house that had the house before we moved in 
uh, he came one time we had the door somebody knocked at the door and it's this had been probably 40 years after we bought it and they, they go we used to live here when I was a kid and we were driving by and my uh, my mom she wants she just looked at it she can't believe what you've done to it and we want to know if we can buy it back from you. <laughs> we Did they really say yeah. That? We don't know. We're not going to sell it. We've done a lot of work to this house, and we're not selling it. <laughs> no, we like it here. We'll, we'll be here for a long, long, long time. Okay, we're going to uh, quit there and do a couple of quotes. Papa O's got work tomorrow. Well, I get uh, because of my skin condition. I have to get up really early to get lotions on it so I don't itch during the day. Oh, he's got to get up at four in the morning. Uh, oh, am I looking for one of these? Mm-hmm. Oh, and remember... Oh, I love this one. Remember our uh, my CD giveaway that I'm giving my sisters and my CD? And we'll do that on the on our next Q&A on the 15th, just before um, St. Patrick's Day. And this one I'm going to read to you uh, for a quote. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to re tell you a re related one. It said, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great mm, way. I like that. And here's mine, mm -hmm. one that I've had since I was... Uh, somebody told to me when I was a teenager, and it stuck with me my whole life. It said, anything worth doing at all is worth doing well. Abraham Lincoln, I think, yeah. And that's, for, that's related to that. Yeah, and that's related to that. So don't ever think that you have to do some great grand thing to to make a difference in the world. It's actually the small things. It's what fills the ocean, The great little things, drops of rain. The great things are what you do for other people. Mm-hmm, yeah. And um, let's see. Work like you don't need the money. Let's see, how would that be? Like you don't. Well, remember that your, means you don't work. Your at, job you don't have to work at all. Your and, job at Unis. No, you need the money. But your job at Unis is you loved it so much. You said, "Boy, I, I, I would do this for free." But I said, "Don't tell them that. I, we need the money." I had a contracting job uh, in the early days of the internet for to do a website for a community college, and I enjoyed it so much. Mm -hmm. They paid me. This has been. Probably 30 years ago, they paid me $2,000 to do it, and they said, and I didn't tell them. And I said, I would have done this for free. Yeah, don't so, tell them you do it for so, free. It's so much fun doing this. Yeah, so that's why I work like you don't need the money. Just put your whole heart and soul into it, and and just try and love what you're doing, and love like you've ne like you've never been hurt, and dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> like uh, you know how or like you're singing in the singing in the car or, or as you're walking down the street and stuff then you see that some you're really getting into it and then you see somebody's watching and you go oh, oh and you get real embarrassed and you think oh my gosh but just if somebody catches you doing that just say just keep dancing along and they'll probably just have a good chuckle just and like that song singing in the rain singing in the rain and and love like you've never been hurt it's better to have loved and lost and than not to have loved at all uh just just don't be don't let fear run your life and and don't be afraid to do the things that you enjoy because somebody might say something or somebody might laugh at you or somebody might look at you funny so just enjoy it Yep. Well, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And that was a lot of fun to keep the questions coming. And thank you. And good night, everybody. Good night. And remember to uh, let me know if you want to be entered in the contest. Thank you. Are you going to say something else? No. Oh, okay. Well,